It's the first man-made tool ever to break the sand barrier. It dates back to 5000 BC and it has been in every culture in the entire world since then. Uh, the idea of a whip is that it takes a lot of energy and puts it down onto a very fine point to make a very big sound. Uh, I'll demonstrate that once and we'll see with the small whip what it sounds like. The whole idea of the whip is to make a big sound. We need a big sound. Let's get the whole Now this whip, uh, this is a traditional German style whip called a carbaccia. Uh, the idea of this whip is that it was used in the springtime to ceremonially drive out the winter and rain in the spring. Um, not long. It's about time that we did that. Don't you think? Um, that was a tradition that they had in Germany before the uh, coming of Christianity. When Christianity came through, they, uh, the Christians at the time did not want to push out the local traditions. They wanted to add to the local traditions so that everyone could be unified rather than divided. Now, the idea of this whip, uh, when, Christian, when Christianity came through, was that uh, they would continue to crack the whip as they did, but rather than drive away the winter and rain in the spring, they would drive away the evil spirits, as they thought, to bring in the peaceful times for in preparation for Easter. Today's Easter. Uh, and I would like to crack this whip to show you just how much bigger a sound this has, and then I'll describe more what it meant to the Germans. Jesus Christ speaks instinctively when we feel it deeply in our hearts because we recognize the sound of Jesus Christ's voice, of our Heavenly Father's voice. The Holy Spirit touches us all the way through. Likewise, as we listen, it becomes less frightening and more comforting. Um, Jesus Christ and Heavenly Father and the Holy Ghost don't speak with the voice of thunder like the whip does, but theirs is a still and small voice. Just the same, it pierces us all the way through. Now when I think about the carbaccia, of course I think of the big loud noise, but more than that, I think about how Jesus Christ, when he speaks, he drives away the bad feelings, he drives away the bad thoughts, and he reigns in the peaceful times. I'm so grateful that he brings those peaceful times. I'm so grateful that he rose from the dead on the third day. And I'll crack this again and think about what Jesus Christ brings as I crack this. 